Hi guys, I'm bringing you another coaching session today with Kyle. We have two games, one low roll game and one high roll game. And we're going to go over the concepts I wrote about on Reddit yesterday. Hello, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. So you said, yeah, this game you got a chosen Italy? Yeah, I hit chosen Warlord Nidalee really early and ended up getting six Nidalees pretty much right away um, on stage one. And so I ended up just playing that and got Warlord Sharpshooters in. Oh, crap. This is 1080p. Yeah, I don't think my computer can handle recording 1080p uh -oh. as well as as well as uh, streaming. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Come on, you got this. Yeah, okay, for now. So you started Chain? You said you like Chain, right? Uh, Yeah, I think I started Chain on this one. I want to say this was an all-defensive start um, on the okay. first carousel. Is it? Do you see how it's kind of choppy? Yeah. But maybe it'll it'll get better. Maybe it won't. I really dislike the change they made. I guess I don't know if you have the settings set up, but like for people who are not partners, you cannot actually lower the settings. Oh man, that's frustrating. So I'm an affiliate and I have it like set that I would like people to have the option to lower the resolution. Yeah. But the preference is for partners only. And then if they feel like it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work on my stream. So yeah. And I have and I've had people complain. That's why my stream is in uh seven twenty P because okay. like some people couldn't run it like when they were at work or something or on their phone. That makes sense. Because like they did not have the option to lower the resolution. Oh, and you have. Okay, you said you're gonna fix this later. I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. fixing this in one stage. So you got the glove. You were third pick, and you got a glove. All right, let's see. Your options were. Okay, I could have so... taken belt for sunfire here, but yeah. I really did not want to take a belt since I hadn't natural the belt yet. Okay. I just much rather have glove here because I can still play Ari, I can play Riven, I can play Ash. Like there's so much more stuff I can play with glove there. Okay. I know Sunfire is flexible too, but I just didn't feel like my board was so so strong that I was gonna be able to win streak because my front line wasn't too starred. Okay. Um, another option was a was another armor, I guess, for Bramble. Okay, yeah. Because Bramble in this meta is like especially if yeah, you, I... if you want to play Riven or. Almost any decent front line, like Bramble is so powerful. Because it's just Yeah, I agree. Well if you have like I've been playing around, I guess it's Riven is the best, but like four Mystics with a Bramble, like the unit is almost unkillable. Yeah, yeah. I uh in a different game I did four Bramble or excuse me, did Bramble and uh D Claw on a Riven and it was in a lobby with like three Ari players and yeah, yeah. it was just unkillable. Yeah, and then you get shit on by Ash. That was that's that's always nice. <laughs> yep. And I, I think that's actually the comp that I lose to late game. But yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it got me a free top four. So it's like, hey, there's all these RE players. I will never die to them. Yeah. You just got you just gotta be careful. But like, it's like yeah, if if there's one Ash player or one Sharpshooter player and everyone else is going RE, like if you go full defense against magic damage, then much better. Now I'm thinking if if you stream this, it might it might be better. Yeah, it might be. That way your computer's not having to do both. But I mean, you still be sharing. You still be sharing your screen. Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Uh, just please. Yeah. You know, yeah. Let's try that. You share your screen. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let me get let me get to where we were. Yeah, right, right there, somewhere right there. Fine. Let 
and then I'll full screen this. All right, is that fine? Um, yeah, I just need to, oh yeah, I wasn't seeing myself. And you can you can set it to like uh, point five, I guess. Click on period okay. twice. Yeah. You click on period twice, it'll. Oh well. Just click on period. I think I got three it. Times. Is it? Now it's no no one point five. Sorry 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 yeah. Oh one point five one point five. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I said point gotcha. five. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Because usually there's not that much happening. No, yeah. During these fights, we don't we don't need to slow mo them. <laughs> but yeah, Nidalee's. Yeah, wow. Nidalee is a crank. The, yeah, because she's chosen. Yeah, yeah, chosen and sword. Yeah. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, fat fat hits here. Okay, so so now like yeah, people people on Reddit came out with the pitchfork saying. Uh, that a lot of a lot of streamers econ instead of instead of uh, sell units. So yeah, I, I'm glad you leveled up here for another Nidalee, rather than yeah, because that it was too much power on my bench, and I needed to keep this win streak alive. Yeah, I mean the alternative play was to sell the Nidalee and sell the Wise. Right. Yeah. And but but like thirty gold is not as good as twenty gold with four win streak. So I'm glad you you made the right play. Yeah, because four win streak yeah. going through Krugs is super valuable. I get that twice, so it's really good. Yeah. And especially, oh yeah, now you're gonna have oh you already have sharpshooters. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And your Nidalee had some stacks already, so I guess you played her during the oh yeah you played her during the creep round. Yeah, I got her. I got her super early. Yeah. Okay, so here I'm fixing the window. Uh, I guess you can like skip, just press yeah, right arrow a few times. Skip, like, there we go. There we go. Okay. So now maybe you kind of wish you picked up a belt, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I would. I would love a belt right here. So that that's kind of like yeah, that's like overthinking things. I do that as well a lot. Like, I don't want to get too many belts, and I know how the how the like bucket system works. That if I pick up a belt from Carousel, I can still get more belts. But like, you're gonna have to sound like a QSS here, maybe. Or thieves cost possibly or something. Yeah, and so I didn't slam anything here because when I saw the matchup, I realized the only way I was I would have beaten this guy is if I had leveled and played Vi. And since I yeah. hadn't done that, there was no point in me wasting an item to not. I mean, I wouldn't have even saved HP there. Um, I uh, think stone plate plus plus thieves cops could have won that as well, but it's just like you yeah. you don't want to slam both items, so yeah. So I I said on. Uh, if I had this unmuted, I said, uh, if I have a person that I need to slam stone plate on Thresh for to win, then I'll do it. Yeah. Um, and then I showed that guy with the chosen Z, and it's like, okay, well, stone plate's not going to do that there for me. And I really didn't want to commit Thief's Glove because it sure looked like a sharpshooter game. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I found Jinx, I wanted the gloves to be able to go dual gauntlet QSS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, four, four, you have natural four sharpshooters. That's good. Yeah, yeah. So it was like I pretty much had to. And it, it got me a way to get out of that Warlord Nidalee chosen and not grief my bench anymore with seven Nidalees. Um, by the way, just, just a minor thing. I think Garen could have held onto the armor essentially from stage two one, no? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because he's not staying in for long. Yeah. I mean, it does, like here, it would do absolutely nothing, but it's like a little bit of extra resistance. Maybe he survived like one or two extra autos from different comps. Yeah, I was I was thinking that I might want that armor for a locket, and I could take a rod here. But if I, now that I think about it, if no, I get like, a rod, I'm always planning dual gauntlet. So. No, but I mean, like, that's that's now, but I mean, from like 2-1, you could have had it. Right. And yeah. another another thing, minor thing, uh, selling the Garen might have not been the best thing. It's... It's too greedy. That's 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 the thing I argued with with, with some people. I feel it's too greedy. Um, yeah. Yeah. I and I felt like yeah, I felt like it was close. I I kind of agonized over it, but I felt like I hopefully will be finding a better Vanguard unit soon anyway. Um, and if I find a Sharpshooter chosen, like I'm just playing six Sharps. Okay. Now because I have them all. Right. It's like that. That that's the thing where it's like maybe losing one econ over. The possibility yeah. of hitting is is worth it, which is something yeah. I like. Some some higher challengers have told me to do it. Some higher challengers tell me not to do it. So I I've started doing it more. 
So my econ suffers a bit, but I do feel stronger in general. When I when I do like when when I manage to get pairs of of my board like upgraded upgraded board. Oh my god, that's a essentially yeah perfect. Right, yeah, Diana. perfect items. Yeah, he's very strong. Wow. Okay. And he has wait. He has three star Alessandra. It was a three star Alessandra. Yeah. Because the Diana upgraded. So this, is, so one of them so this is a spot where I was debating buying the Hecarim, but I pretty much insta sell the Hecarim next round anyway, because I'm going to get to seven and roll down and hopefully find a chosen yeah. sharpshooter or an actual good chosen Vanguard. And I have two losses already, so it's not even good for me to win here. So I'd rather not take the chosen Vanguard Hecarim and win. So why I'd not put in the Hecarim over over Garen, the normal one? Yeah, that was it. Was just brain lag. Okay. I was I was agonizing over the chosen Hecarim for a second, and then again here he got bursted on pretty fast. So I don't know if Hecarim would cast there and maybe delay it a little bit. Maybe he would. Maybe he wouldn't. But yeah. Okie dokie. See now. Okay. Yeah. Now he could have had Garen too, but yeah, it's a bit late. Yeah. Okay, so you're committed to... Okay. And so and I, I feel like for here I have so many good units I can find on my roll down. It's not like you've been offered that many other good things. No. Okay, 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 okay. Go back and pause, go back and pause, back and pause, yeah. back and pause, back and pause, please. So, here, that that's the thing... Like yeah, go go ahead, and I'll try to. Let me let me slow it down here. Yeah. Uh, I just put it on the app, whatever. And you can use hotkeys. It's it's spacebar to pause, so you don't have to use your. Okay. Mouse. Got it. So you're saying like that's the thing you're saying you you didn't hit anything right. So. So. Yeah, so I've got the two sharpshooters here. I make I fill both the pairs, which is great. Yeah. But what about those luxes in Irelia? Like go go back and like press yeah. left arrow, left arrow. Okay. Left Oops, I don't arrow. know. I'm I'm doing left arrow. I don't know why it's not going. That's weird. Okay. But, but yeah, like, the, uh... but I mean in, in general, like you have double double lux Irelia, and you're at seventy gold. So yeah, you can yeah. Pause. So there's no reason not to buy them. No, yeah, that's fair. You you said you're gonna roll down right now, right? Yep. Yeah, definitely a good move to buy them. So. You want to leave your options open, like now. Let's just like think about. It. Okay, so you buy double X and Irelia, and like keep in mind that you would have double X on your bench. So you you leave the option of some sort of divine or ideally Talon open, right? Yeah. You yep. have EA a uh, QSS is kind of, but I, I mean you have IE. You do have I, IE QSS for Talon, so that could kind of work. Maybe with, with another sword you can have a GA. Yeah. Yeah. So just just and you might have a Morello as well. So, Shade, yeah, I guess you ignore that. Riven. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I skipped the Riven there. Yeah, this it, the Riven was probably the fix right there because I have two, two star death. And then, yeah. The, okay, so, yeah. Now you have Divine Warwick. QSS IE Bramble? How does that sound? Yeah, like? QSS IE Bramble, Divine Chosen Warwick with the Lux and Aurelia. Yeah, that was it. That would be four divine. Oh. How, how how would you kill that Warwick? Yeah, no, that that would have been a really good, really really good switch here. And and you're done with yeah. and you're done rolling. You, you have. Yep. Um. Well, maybe okay. You, and you you have two vanguards, four divines. Maybe yeah, maybe four vanguards if you put in. No, you wouldn't have four vanguards. But like yeah, so that's like something i guess you tunnel vision a little bit but like here it's like um how do i pick up the warwick i don't have the irelia or or the or the yeah, luster that i just passed yep yeah. no that's a big mistake so yeah that would have fixed it and yeah i i feel like i tunneled really hard on sharps because i was just naturaling all the sharps you know i i had everything but the items were bad it would have been a great switch to divine there yep so let's see what you do there i guess now so it's, I, it's kind of awkward it, my brain freezes yeah but now it's awkward now it's kind of like I don't have any other divine, so you, you skip it. And then there's an Irelia again. Yeah. So maybe like had you picked up and there's more Irelias and okay, but you're going for this. Um you have five sharps, by the way. So Yeah, I know. Aatrox should definitely be there over over maybe Timo, maybe Millie. 
you do make the bramble okay and yeah it should be i'd say zeke's on gin right i yeah i was saying i was saying that i should put zeke's on gin but i was also saying i was not confident that i'd be able to get both sword and tear for jinx to get my shojin Okay. And I really wanted to save that glove um, for Jewel Gauntlet, so I felt kind of stuck there on items. And you should um, tell the Teemo. Uh, you can speed this back up, please. Just okay. try yeah. clicking on, on the period a few times, but if it doesn't work, I guess. Clicking on the period a few times. Nope, not doing anything. Oh my god, okay. I didn't know we were rolling. <laughs> So, yeah, so I, I just I felt like I needed to I still wasn't stable, like I needed to get it chosen. Um I mean I'm sitting I'm sitting away from if I hit Teemo chosen or Jinx chosen, it's just a first, right? So I insta three star those. But team uh um, Teemo is just not actually a unit like I know, but it just opens up it gives me six sharp. Yeah, so yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. Really it does give but not... like Teemo it's not really that important to three star, but I guess for now you're holding him for now. Um, right, because so, I'm just rolling. Yeah, it wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna three star Teemo and win. It was like, all right, this would give me six sharps. I'd have all the whole board two starred and three star Teemo. So, why, like, do you buy the Asher or why don't you buy the Asher? I, I don't. I should have and just switched. And because you have had... Hunter Ash, you already have yeah. a Hacker Room two star. You need yep. one. You need one more Elderwood. Yeah. And you're slowly pivoting your board away from sharps into Ash, and you have QSS yep. IE, and maybe you find like. Something else for Ash along the way. Yeah. You have, wait, how many items do you have? Am I counting this right? You have. Three, I have seven items. Yeah. So that, I was bitching about, I was bitching about that too. I was super poor this game in items. I just, I never got items. Okay. But that means, that means you need, like, that means you're getting five more components or like carousel plus four. Correct. Yeah. So that means like you're definitely buying the Ash because you're likely to get a bow. You haven't got any bows yet. So you're likely right. to get a bow. I'll get, yeah. And, uh, you only got one sword. I think that's a natural short sword, but like yeah, it's a natural sword. You can pick up a sword on the carousel as well. So you could have like QSS IE Giant Slayer or something for your Ash. Yeah. And I think I think Ash is well. Arguably, you can like you can just take out Jin and put an Ash, for example. Yeah. Like and right then now, still have four sharps. Yeah. Right now you have four sharps. You'd have Hunter, and you'd have a random Ash with an IE two star Ash. I think yeah. Ash is better than Jin, especially since you have the Hunter buff on her. So that that would be like yeah, for now, and you could probably sit on that until five one, most likely. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Ash definitely was a buy in hindsight. Yeah, I just got really stuck on the sharps because of and there's your how new many new, and okay, so you three star the Timo. Still, still haven't hit the chosen that I've taken. Um, you still didn't slam the Zeke's. Oh yeah, no, you yeah. Don't want to slam the Because I was, I was basically greeting. I was like, if I hit, I, I haven't natural the tier yet. I should be getting a tier. Oh man. Um, I should get a rod. So it's like I, I could easily get perfect Jinx items here. Okay, so that's yeah, that's tunnel visioning way too much. Um, yeah. By the way, why? Oh no no. no. Uh, okay, okay. So this is. Just luck. Um, no, take one of the sharps. You have five sharps. Yeah, good, good, good. So this is being extremely, extremely greedy with your items. Yeah. Which is, which just cost you. I mean, maybe you wouldn't have won this stage, but you would have bled a lot less. Yep. Maybe Zeke's yeah, no, here. That... Maybe Zeke's here would win this. Actually, look at look at how low they are. Yeah, the, the HP is really low. So Zeke's definitely wins this, and the other two rounds you at least deserve some HP. Uh, yeah, the sword is on the pony. Oh, but you're getting a sword. You're not gonna, yeah, you are getting a sword. I'm taking the rod for jeweled. But yeah, sword would have been well, better for Zeke. Wait, you just you just told me you want you want to make sure you get a shojin, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the tier tier got grabbed before. Um, so I have jeweled here. No, tier which... I would completely ignore. I, I would slam the Zeke's. Zeke's is the most broken item. Yeah, no, I know. Cause I, yeah, I it's, it's too greedy there. I still think Zeke's is better than jeweled, honestly. Okay. You don't? Or like, wh wh why don't you? 
So I, I think Zeke's is an incredible item. I just wanted Jeweled on Jinx here because I felt like I needed... The, my damage was so lacking without, like, I'm doing nothing here. It's pretty much their Jinx spell. That's, like, my only damage. But you have Teemo 3-star. Like, look at look at his damage. Like, it's, yeah. not, it's not nothing. Like, if you, if you get him a little bit more damage, a little bit more attack speed. And the Jin as well. So... I'm glad that you're no longer rolling. That's good. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, I was just rolling before because I yeah. was bleeding out too hard and needed to stabilize. So there's Should you're, have, you're, uh... you're uh, not contested for sharps. That, that's the, that's the trap of sharps. I, I fall into this trap quite often as well. Is that I go for uh, and I roll on seven too much, and then yeah. it's like really hard getting to eight. Yep. And yeah, so I felt like I was really stuck here, like. I'm I'm too poor to get to eight. I'm not strong. Like I'm still bleeding. I rolled a ton. But I guess it was definitely Warwick when you were at like forty gold almost. Yeah. Warwick Divine, and then it was definitely Ash. So it's just yeah. But I mean, it, it this happens to me maybe half of my games where I'm like I'm going sharps, and I'm just committed, and then other like the other half I'm like. Oh, I have other options. Oh, there's a Warwick. Okay, what do I do? Do I pick him up? How I can think I in the him? last lobby, the game right before this two, I had just played like a three sharps lobby, and they all went top top four. And so I was just triggered off that. So you're it's like, biased okay. as well. Yeah, yeah. happens. Oh, double Zeke's and Rabadon maybe? Or Dusk? I can't play Dusk. Um, you pick up the Cassio. Yeah, that's so that's what I ultimately end up doing. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And so then I get four dusk Teemo in, and I just I carry Teemo. I didn't get the Zeke's in in time though, which was yeah. sad. And look at that! I could have had a Zeke's for a whole stage and a half extra, and saved a ton of HP. Yep. And I, now I, I have think a... that's essentially the difference between top four and not top four right now. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I 100% agree with you. Because watch, I mean, when we see what HP I go out on and what the rest of the lobby is at, it definitely was the difference. I mean, there, so there were three chances. I got three strikes this game, and I, I missed on all of them. I should have picked up the Divines and then switched to the Warwick. I could have taken the Ash. Yeah. And then I was too greedy with items. When it was very clearly not going to be like a first kind of game, it, it was going to be a first or eighth kind of game if I kept playing the way that I played, where I held all my items and waited for perfect jinx. But, but I think I think Team O three is still just a paperweight. Oh yeah, no, it, it was not uh, not by design, but I just kept hitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now you're rolling for. Yeah. I'm just I'm trying to do anything to make my board stronger because I'm not wanting to go eighth here. Um, and I'm I, I'm just stuck. There's a shroud on the other side. There's sins on there's sins everywhere. Like so many comps have sins. So you should you should front line. Oh, okay, never mind. For this is this guy, it's fine. I, I, otherwise, I would front line. Right. Yeah. And I was pretty sure I was playing him or another sins player, and so I play this guy and take a big fat um, seven five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're taking seven damage. So that's yeah. Pause here, please. Yeah. So you okay. took you took you took uh, yeah. If you just go back, try pressing the left arrow. Whatever it does, it should work. I don't know. Oh no no no. Okay, because why. you click on pause. Yeah, yeah, you need to be click on like if if you click you click play and click okay. on the, like click play on the screen like click on the screen. Okay. And now if you click right or left arrow. Oh should... yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, minus two HP, and the other guy is seven sixteen. So you definitely, you could definitely live one, if not two, more rounds had you slammed the Zeke's earlier. Yep. Yeah. So it's it's like uh, two, like yeah, as you mentioned, too greedy with with your chosen's, and then too greedy with your items. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> just a greedy game, and then that round where you mentioned, oh look, Zeke's would have won the round because there were four units at super low HP. You know, that saves me, what, 
That's eight HP, HP right that's there. Eight HP right there. And then there was yeah. also like four one four two where you m might have killed more units and four six four seven you could have killed yep. more units. So. So yeah, I'm probably probably sitting at like ten to fifteen HP then if I had slammed the Zeeks and I I ultimately build the Zeeks anyway, so it's just too greedy. Yeah. So too greedy and uh, too rigid. Yeah, so... too too stuck on sharpshooters, just yeah. being being too blind because my board was already set up for it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, keep yeah, we can start playing the game. Uh, start playing the video. So yeah, that that's essentially. Well, did you you cut this or how did you cut that? Oh, I was just I was right arrowing now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's quick. Okay, so I guess you want sword, right? Yeah. Get it? You didn't get it? You got it. Okay. I did. I got it. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm usually pretty good on carousel. You have thing. Yeah, it's pretty high. Sixty eight. I can get down to like forty ish most of the time. But I guess NA is a really big region, so that's yeah. where you are. And by the time zone, I'm guessing Pacific? Yep. Yeah. But if it's somewhere like around New York, I guess it's pretty far. Yeah, I think the servers, I think they're in Chicago. So yeah, it's a couple, okay. yeah. A couple thousand miles. I mean, yeah, on, on East, I don't know where East is, but it's like probably around, around here because I'm in Czech Republic. And then West is... Probably like Germany, which is like next to me as well. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So you have good ping no matter what server. I have good ping on East End. So here, this one's kind of like no brainer. Like I just have to take you, the Garen. You take the Garen. You take enough. the Garen. Although the warlord, like obviously, uh, uh, warlord is um, Vanguard. Vanguard is a lot better than than warlord, but yeah. Right. Yeah. Agree. But here I'm like, I have great Katarina items. Like, I have incredible Katarina items, and I have chosen Warlord Garen, so let's uh, let's just pray. <laughs> yep. I, uh, maybe pick up the TF over Nami. That's what, I was, that's what I was debating right there. Uh, and yeah, then here I'm sad because I don't have the... Uh, the gold to put in like any kind of backline damage, but this is definitely my strongest board. Okay, what about items? Uh, so here, I I could have made a jeweled gauntlet, but I felt like I wanted to save the glove and the gunblade components you, because you, I really no, felt you, like you, I you could... explain you explain like uh, okay, uh, so you explain like your build one is Katarina, correct? Yeah. So what about item components? Okay, so for components here, right now I've got Gunblade completed, basically. I've got half of QSS, and I've got, if I get extra gloves, that's great. I can do, um, I can do Spell Crit, or I can yeah, do Hodge. Okay, okay. I, I, maybe I'm not, not posing the, the question correctly. Like, what component can you use right now that you should be using? Oh, I could put a... I mean, I could put a sword on Wukong. I could put a rod on... If I want to sell the Garen, I could put the rod on Garen, but I wasn't certain that I was going to sell the Garen if I got good. I, I would go sword on Wukong, glove on Tom Kench. Okay, got it. It's it's a minor thing, but like you get a bit stronger. Why not? Yeah, I I was I thought I might actually keep the Tom Kench for a while um, for fortune, and so I wanted to leave okay. the glove. Then, open the, for then sure, definitely but I sword on Wukong. Yeah, agree. Because as soon as you hit anyone, can use the sword. You'll selling yeah and again i i don't know i don't know maybe okay you, i think you it oh the, okay the so the sword would have won that exactly yeah it was sword diff right there <laughs> yeah and that's like don't want to flex too much but like that's that's the diff between like top challengers or like challenger players and like maybe a bit lower because like yep. I, I know there that i need to at least use my components and there's like no like there's no benefit from not putting the sword on Wukong. Like yes, maybe there's some scenario where you want to keep the Wukong if you two star him. But it's But no, you're right. Yeah, it's it's much more rare that I'm in a bad situation for using the sword than me getting a benefit from using the sword. And again, like the glove on the glove on Tom Kench would help him. Oh here, yeah, it's irrelevant. 
But I would yeah, not once I, I so yeah, once I've already fucked up and not put the sword on Wukong and yeah. didn't win the first stage, then I'm just losing. Yeah. If I had won the first stage, I absolutely level here all the time and just put in a fourth unit to be stronger. It really doesn't matter if it's the one star vein or another Garen or whatever. So here I'm just making sure that I get ten. Um, and figure out what's my best. Nami's still, definitely your best. Like if you're if you want to win, it's Nami. No, and I, I didn't want to win. Okay. I wanted to lose here because I already have two loss. Um. Okay. So then something I would like you to do if you're trying to lose is look at at least the uh, the bot two players and make sure you're weaker than them. Okay. Like or, or like check that you haven't played them yet, but like the the numbers guy four four six nine two might be weaker than you. Right. And if you match up against him and you win, then it's really frustrating. Yeah. Oh. Huh. This is yeah, if you wanna go Yeah, I decided it's first or eighth, so Wait, 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 wait. And why would you pick up the So I took the spat to go nine warlord, because I have I have fifty percent of perfect Katarina items already and I have good nine warlord open. I've got the but, Vi. Vi goes in here right away. Okay, so Vi. Okay, Vi because she goes in over the, for the yummy. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so now the issue is, do you want to win or do you want to lose? Yeah, and so now it was kind of tough because I was like, oh shit, I spiked harder than I was uh, bargaining for after that carousel. Um, so here, if I win, it's fine. I'm going to keep trying to invest in winning. If I lose, I'm also fine losing. I just want to make sure that I lose the next one as well. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. But yeah, losing, losing would be ideal, but I'm, I'm never mad at winning here. I think that I'm technically strong enough that I can manufacture wins if I put items on or depending on my matchup, which I think I scout for here. That was relatively close, but you won. Good. Yeah. I'd say nearly over Vi here. I, the reason I, I don't think I do is because of the brawler buff on Kench. And I think it's that amount of HP. Okay. Kench too early is pretty value. If I had sharps, if I had a sharp to put in, I'd definitely consider that too, but... So you just want to be tanky, yeah? Fair enough. Yeah. But the issue is like he's just willing you down and you can't do any damage, right? Like yep. I don't know if Nidalee would win here, but I'm saying like Nidalee could actually like maybe ulti and kill one of their sharps in the back. Yeah, certainly. So there I think if you had played Garen instead of Vi the on two five. I lose. You yeah. lose, and you lose this, and you have a full loss streak. Yeah, yeah, which would have been better. Yeah. And like, I don't advocate loss streaking too much, but like, this would be like you'd still lose, and you'd be at like eighty HP or something, which would be yeah quite reasonable. Yeah, like in this circumstance, yeah. Normally, I don't really want to loss streak. I don't. Yeah. I would much prefer to win, but in this circumstance, it was the best thing to do. Uh, okay, minor thing, minor thing. Go go back uh, like one or two frames. To... Okay. Back over, yeah, and and pause. Uh, just 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 to show something. Um, what should you be playing right now? Um, after this stage. No, no, no. Right now. What should I be playing right now? Oh, yep. I should be playing the Nidalee to get yes, Warlord sir. stack. Yes, yeah. sir. Yep. Just remember Whoops. that whenever whenever you're playing warlords, just put them put all your warlords. Yeah. Even if you're not playing warlords, put all your warlords in for Krugs as long as you don't plan yeah. on selling selling them. Just to get that one additional stack. It's yeah to get the value. Yeah. It's what, no, what I it? agree. It's 40, 40 HP, twenty HP, twenty HP. Yeah. Maybe? So what, it's, what, it's whatever. But it's like at, yeah, ten percent at three is twenty HP. But yeah, twenty extra HP and two spell power. Yeah. Why not? Right. Yep. Yeah. For free. So just just keep that in mind. We're hard committing. Okay. Yeah, we're we're just hard committing. I have perfect Katarina items, and I got a Warlord's bat. 
I'm just making the Tom Kench as tanky as possible. Okay. Because the extra AP he gets from Warlords is actually not not meaningless right here. Like he's gonna tank a, a ton of extra damage for that. I mean, I probably do the same thing. I just don't think it's the right play, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it feels gross. Like I, I'm taking it off him as soon as I get someone better to put it on. Like yeah, if no, I, no, I mean, in in general, like the the fact that you're committing to Warlords. Oh, oh, oh. With zero Katarinas. Yep. <laughs> So can you just go back again one two frames? Yeah. Pause, please. Can you tell me why you didn't buy all these units? Uh, dude, bad habit. This was closer to uh, when they had just changed the patch, where they changed the store okay. mechanic. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, bad bad habit holdover from the last last mechanic. And really importantly, there's Diana. Yeah, which would be assassin. assassin. So as soon as you be, as Katarina. soon as you hit a Katarina, you need an assassin. Oh. Yep. And so I do that here with the Akali, I'm pretty sure. Well, here it's tough. Like, here you might consider that you want to make m money, maybe. But I guess, yeah. I mean, here again, it's, it's kind of like Akali over making money, but I guess you made the right call. I think I ultimately sell the Garen's here. I don't think I three-star the Garen's. Okay, yeah, that's that's even a better call. So you're making Econ and you're holding on to a better unit because you want to be leveling, you don't want to be rolling for Garen. Yep, absolutely. And it just... Yeah, it just... If, I'm, if I'm committing, I mean, I'm committed to Warlord. So at this point, I know that I need to get to level 8 and find Nazir eventually. Yeah. And so I got to gotta be smart with my Econ here. I'm still... Thinking like how good the Tom Kench is compared to putting in like a Kali with with the Warlord. That's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm talking about and thinking about right now. Because you you're I really just... tanky, but if if they have decent damage, like this guy, he has damage on the on the Yasuo who's actually in the front line, so maybe he'll die somehow. But like, you just don't have enough damage. So you're you're tanky, but there's no damage yeah. from your side. Yep. And for future reference, I mean, it's personal preference, but like have the damage tab open at least for 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 coaching, and I, I it's just always okay. good for additional yeah. information. So then then you can kind of see like okay, so I see that Yasuo did all the damage, or Lux did a lot of damage, and if I had been able to kill Lux, it would have been good. So now you have two SS, good. I think, yeah, here I think uh, Akali is just better. Like, your board becomes weaker, but you, you get to kill one or two squish units in the back. Yeah. So, Kench is better if you're actually winning. Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah, very nice. And, now and then here I'm talking about uh, Kench versus Akali. Now it's definitely Akali. Yeah, that's what I I say that, and then I I'm mad at myself because I didn't pull the trigger quick enough here. Although, okay, never mind. Oh, Katarina, yeah. So look how much HP they have left. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. If assassin is in with the assassin buff, but I guess oh nope, just barely lose. Yeah, just barely. So yeah, that that was a poor decision to not take Kench out there. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, my bad. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, Fortune. Oh, I, I forgot about that too. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was I was talking about like, oh, I want Fortune. I want to cash out. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm oblivious to that. Yeah, this is good. Uh, Like, okay, pause, please. Pause, please. Um, You haven't really moved your board at all. Yeah, I uh, I did not scout as much as I usually do this game. Okay. I also my the positioning on my board like I basically want Katarina middle or like slightly left, slightly right, depending on the state of the lobby. Oh, exactly. And my nid my nid's always going to be a back corner, right or left, and then my front line's always going to be four units all together front line basically at this point. Um. So, so um, it, was, it was a little lazy, but Kat yeah, Katarina, you can have her more to the left or more to the right. Yeah. Here, I think you want her more to the right, essentially, because like if you send her left, Wukong's gonna smack her. So, 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Nidalee does not have to be in the back corner all the time. You can you can put her closer to the front line so she's actually more protected. Because okay. if, if there's an assassin, you got to make sure that Nidalee is like all, like not on the same side as the assassin. Like here, Katarina right. most likely going to go forward, like his Katarina. But if his Katarina goes to towards your Nidalee, then you, your, your damage is like, okay, you have two damage in it now, but like if, if she kills your Nidalee, you're screwed. Yeah, I have no no more damage. So yeah, I technically could move like move the Nidalee up and one to the right behind Sejuani, yeah. right? Or I could move her over and back left, but second row from the base. Um, so she's on that little outside hex and just have her be far away from the assassins jumping straight yeah. back. Or or just put like Vine next to her or something to protect her. Yeah. And you made a very good point on Discord. Was it no 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 it wasn't you. It was Alex. Okay, um yeah, sorry, sorry. So you want you want Garen actually as like a more of a solo tank. Like not like this yeah. matchup is irrelevant, but like other matchups, um, your Tom Kench tanked a lot, and like your Garen Garen's ulti did not do as much damage as it could have. Okay, yeah. So you want more room for Garen? Like now, like now it's end of stage three, so now the setup is kind of fine. But earlier, you can just solo Garen and have like other vanguards and other stuff all the way on the corners, because if everything okay. gathers around Garen and he ultis. He's gonna yeah. damage or like almost kill everything, and then your other yeah. units can clean up. Yeah, better value. Okay. So like, there's no like, there's no value from from Garen's ulti here, and Sejuani should probably be more middle-ish as well, because her ulti can hit like almost the whole board. But this way, she's never gonna hit the left corner. Okay. Yeah. Like this way, she can hit right corner, but she can never hit left corner. But if she's in the middle and the units kind of like come towards you, um, one more thing, I don't know. How how good it's with Katarina, but uh, for assa like if you're playing assassins in general, you want to backline your stuff, so their units walk up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. And so yeah, here I think ultimately I end up saying that I'm going to just use this fortune as an insurance policy, basically, to guarantee that no matter what, if I if I win streak, great. If I lose streak, fine. I'm just oh, gonna yeah, use you, it as insurance. You win here because you have six warlords, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And so then after this, I can get to seven and just ride fortune here and keep the Tom Kenshin for a little while. Um, but I do really ultimately want to get that Warlord spat onto Akali. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, Akali doesn't, you want to put it on uh, that or um, it's Yone or someone like that. Yeah, yeah. But for right now, Akali will be totally fine with it. I'm just thinking, is it really a, like if you don't put it on a Kali, if you just greet it for a bit longer, um, you can just. Oh my, okay. Yeah, turbo, turbo high roll. If you don't, if you skip, skip putting it on a Kali. Yeah, okay. But then you have to sell the Kali. Because, huh. So why are we rolling? So I'm just rolling because I want to, if I two-star my Katarina, then I'm good. I'm not rolling anymore all the okay. way until. But I really feel like I need to two-star the cat. Uh, Jinx. But I don't, I don't want to blow through a ton of gold here. So I'm, uh, I'm just I definitely pick up the Jinx. And I think it's, it's, uh. Jinxiao over Vi. Yeah, yeah. Or Jinxiao, Jinxiao actually does a lot of damage. Oh, nice. Yeah, go go fight the guard. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think here, I know it's greedy, but I think... Okay, there you go. Yeah, but you, you rolled to 40, so it's not... But I think like going going to eight right away could have been fine as well, because you already have nine warlords, right? You just have enough room to put them in. Right, exactly. Yeah. So that was uh, that was basically my dilemma. Like I I can't spend time here rolling for Katarina, but at the same time I really would prefer to keep this win streak going and just streak all the way to eight because I'm strong with 
six warlord in. Yeah, I think perfect gathering items. I think you pretty much put yourself in a very good spot to win this. Oh wow. Okay. Not quite enough there, but the zero or the one damage loss. Not. not um. So, do you want me to tell you how to position that better to win that, or? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Here, let's. Okay. Do that. So, go back. 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 Yeah. Just wait. Wait. Once. Once the unit show up. Okay. And you gotta follow. Nice. Pause. Pause now. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pause. I'll pause before the combat starts. Okie dokie. Um, so, I I'd say you want your, yeah, you want you have your you need to have your uh, Italy protected, because there's um, I think it's a two star, Evelyn. Yeah, two star Eve and one star Pike that are backline. So if you put her like all the way to the left, she'll be safe. Yeah. Um, Azir should also be all the way to the left. Yep. Um, and you can have like a Vi there with them, just chilling. Okay. Oh no no no! Never mind, never mind. You, you I guess you ignore them. You have the Vi and you have the Garen in front, uh, and you move your you definitely move your bear over one, your Sejuani over. Like you need to move everything closer to him, so they don't have to, okay. they, they walk less. Uh, you need to ensure that uh your Garen takes aggro. Rather than and that your Katarina can ulti, which does happen, and yeah, you, I would I would put I would definitely put things like your assassins more right and your uh, backline more left. So Nidalee left. So I could. So here, what I would do is move the Azir to this hex right yep. where above the Akali is. Move the Nidalee back to this hex. Yep. Hold this Sand Soldier back here to be Perfect. protection from the assassins. I'd move Akali one to the right of Katarina, so she's going to take aggro first, and Kat won't get focused down and killed if they aggro the backline exactly. there. Exactly, very good. And she can plow through and get Katarina room to be in the middle of the team. Move Garen over one, move Sedge over one, move Vi over one. Yeah. And that that's the best for this guy, I think. And uh, why did you not do that? Uh, I did not scout him correctly. I was not, wasn't sure who I was playing next, so I just looked at the okay. lobby and did general positioning. Okay. Does it like does it matter who um how wait how do I phrase the question? Um yeah, does it matter who you're playing next if this guy is one of them? Hmm, let me think. Does it matter who I'm playing next if this guy is one of them? So this guy yeah, this guy's on the biggest win streak, so I certainly want to position to beat him if I can beat him. Exactly. And my board's definitely strong enough to beat him. Ignore like you can ignore everyone else and position for this guy. That's what I mean. Okay. Yep. Like that, if, no, that if makes this guy is in your is in your uh, whatever bucket of, of possible opponents, you're always positioning for him because you're okay. super strong and you should beat anyone else even with shitty positioning. But okay. this guy's yeah. on a crazy win streak, so you should be like that's what I do almost like half the time if I'm if I'm trying to win. Like I'm looking at like one or two guys that are really strong and I'm positioning for like one of them. Got like, it. I haven't yeah. played so this guy in four rounds. Like competition. Yeah, I'm, I haven't played this guy in four rounds. I might play him next round. I position for him. I still haven't played okay. him. I still position for him. And I, I can continue beating everyone else. And I, and I know if I play him, I will beat him. So, like, sweat yeah. positioning, position for, for the strongest guy. Okay. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah. Because it, it doesn't matter who else you're playing. Like, it, it makes no difference, like, if you're playing someone else apart from this guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Katarina. Oh. Yeah, Katarina and see, Akali would have taken that aggro first, and Katarina would have lived just a little longer. Oh. I, can, I think Katarina finished yeah. with ulti anyway. Yeah, that's true. And Probably. It's items as well. I don't know what, what items you're, you're planning to get. Oh, so here, um, do you want me to go back? Oh, no, 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 but like now, you, like now, I guess you would want a Hodge maybe for her, or... So I think I end up taking a rod because even though it's on a one cost, which that's why I stall so long, yeah. I'm really sad about that. But I think the rod can go into a ton of good stuff. Like I can make a locket here. I can make a second gunblade worst case scenario. I can make a Gwinsos to go on a zero. Like there's just lots of good stuff that that okay. locket goes into. It can become an Ionic, can become a jeweled gauntlet. Um, uh, Morello's Azir, like pretty much everything that that tier turns into is fine. Or that that rod turns into yeah. is fine. Are you contested? Normal, so it's like contested. 
or someone was playing uh, Katarina. No, no, I'm not contesting. Uh, no, but I meant uh, like, why didn't you slam a GA or something? That oh, um, I I felt like I was strong enough without slamming it, and I'm I'm greeting to play for first here. Like, I'm pretty sure I have a first, and okay. so I. I want to make sure that these items are going to be perfect max efficiency items. Okay. Fair point. So like you could have won that round had you slammed items or position better. Yeah. So I I I won that last round, but yeah, the one against the guy where uh, I didn't have the positioning right definitely items items would have won it or positioning would have won it. I feel like. But I'm just thinking like, uh, what items actually? But yeah, you're right. Lock it is. Better here than a random G. Although I think GA Akali isn't that bad because if you if you have GA on your own afterwards, it can work. Yep. And that's yeah, that's ultimately what I end up. <laughs> so if you send the GA, the fight against uh... so that yeah, the the moral of the story is be less greedy with my items because half the time I'm gonna end up doing that anyway, and that additional value is just so nice. Like, like had you won four three? Oh yeah, oh my like, goodness, I'd be cooking. It's it's better than a, like you're like hundred percent guaranteed first. Like here, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah it, it literally is guaranteed. First you're sweating there. a little and bit. That... Like had you won that round, like no competition. Yeah. Yeah, it's just GA GA diff. Yep. So, yeah. Essentially, you make the items that I suggest you make anyway. Yeah. That, that's that's yeah. that's the thing. Like, that's why I ask. Like after that long, after the after the round you lost, like what are you trying to build? Like yeah. here, it's not as bad. Obviously, like yeah, you 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 could have won a round. You didn't win. It's probably like I don't know another five six gold. No, it's a lot more gold. It's like ten gold or something from the from the win yeah, streak. Because of streak. Because, yeah, you would have had a lot more streaking, but yeah. Uh, you'd definitely be at 50 here, so you wouldn't even lose Econ. Had you won there. And yeah, now now we're just going to 9, right? Yeah, now we just chill. We go 9. Okay. Good, good. And we replace the Akali with whatever 2-star legendary hit. Yep. So just, just keep that in mind. So I hope you pick up the Talon over Sichuani. I I or don't actually. I end up wanting Sedge. I'm trying to remember who I I was scouting people and basically thought I auto win this just off Katarina damage as long as I can CC. There are a couple people where I needed the CC. Okay, so you definitely need the Akali here. So buy the Akali. Yep. You need yeah. you need an assassin. I mean, it's long term thinking. It's not like next round, but like right, right, right. You don't want to. But yeah, to peel to peel those items off yeah. and be able to yeah. And like here again, you can, um, yeah. Here it's like scouting. So like one thing you can do, he's playing talent. Go back, like, yeah. You're not gonna yeah. go, like in the video, I guess. <laughs> I thought you're gonna like go yeah. back and scout him. He's playing talent. It's two star, okay, already. So like griefing talent doesn't do anything. But it's like, yeah. So just like try to grief people if you can instead of instead yeah. of free leveling. Hold, hold their units if I yeah. can. Yeah. That's like another minor thing. Like, there's no point. Like, you don't get anything for putting the levels in, but maybe holding a Kenna for the Ninja player, yeah, or uh, talent for talent player. That's that's really good advice because there's a ton of times where I know that it's like, why why am I putting the gold in for level right now? It doesn't matter if I'm not gonna make level. Like, I can use that gold um, to just hold units. But yeah, that's a small thing that would help. And definitely, like, even if you're not griefing anyone, you definitely want to hold an assassin. That's really important. Yeah, yep. Because that gives me the flexibility. It gives me the ability to get that Akali out and put a legendary in. Without having to roll. Yeah. Okay, Locket would be pretty sweet here. Or... Yeah, I'm like Locket, uh, Bramble. But yeah, Locket's, Locket's too free. I mean, it's not like you, you need the extra HP, but whatever. Yeah, it's just such a good item, and my whole my whole front line likes it. So, um, yeah, you you discover like who does the most damage. Yeah, yeah. So I was I was really debating between Zen and Vi here. Um, 
I ultimately ended up going with buy. Okay, uh, positioning tip. Where do you want your Jarvan? Um, so I have my Jarvan giving the keeper value to the most important unit and on the far right side or far left side, um, yeah. just so he's going to flag and drag the farthest way. Okay. So yeah, I didn't, I got that positioning griefed right here, but I fix it after this. Okay, so good. Yeah, there are a couple people. Um, I was talking about the positioning when I was playing this one on the on the VOD, um, but I'm like figuring out where what side I want the Jarvan on and how to get keeper value on the unit that I want the most and still have them both positioned efficiently. So I think keeper value is yeah, it's super super low low irrelevant. priority. It's like priority number ten on my position. I mean, especially but since you have Locket right now, like Locket is way 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 better than keeper. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but right now I just have him on the edge, so he's getting Jin Zhao, who's going to get focus first from the left side carry unit oh, okay. value, and then I switch him over to a Kali and put Katarine there. Um, and you I put him on the him. wrong side again. I wanted to dodge yeah. the shroud here. Um, oh, okay. And I and I knew that Katarina with Giant Slayer. I talk about this in the vod. Like Cat with Giant, or excuse me, a Kali with Giant Slayer is going to cut through all the tank bullshit in the way. There you go. Clear the path for my Katarina into the whole There team. we go. See that? I think the GA helped, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm I'm singing the praises of the GA. I'm like, honestly, GA and Giant Slayer are so underrated. It's so good for this specific setup that I have going. Like, the Akali is just there to get stuff out of the way for the Katarina. Yeah. I mean, this is like exactly the, the guy, like, why you can beat him before. So, yeah. Now you beat that guy. Obviously, you are. A lot stronger. Uh, you didn't have nine warlords then, did you? Yeah, you didn't have nine warlords. No, I didn't. Yeah. So now there's the boss. So you you value. Okay, interesting. I yeah, set just feels like wait, not wait, wait, a wait, unit. Pause, 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 pause. Yeah. Um, do you need to roll this hard? Uh, I'm just I was going hard for the Katarina right now, and I wanted to uh. So like we had talked about getting a two-star legendary in there, I felt like if I get the two-star legendary, um, I can get the Akali out and just swap that other one in. But uh, yeah, I probably could have played it more patient. I just... Yeah. But this this is like, I'm probably going to win so I can push my... Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying I wouldn't do this. Like, I'd probably do something similar, but just like now thinking about it, it's like, well, I do have a immense lead. Immense lead, so I might as well like capitalize on the lead. Like now you're throwing away your gold lead. So yeah. if something, some freak accident happens and you lose a round and you don't have any gold, and maybe the second or third guy have still have gold, they can spike eventually. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I think I could have been more greedy here, definitely. Especially with your HP. Like you're not using your HP effectively. That's Uh huh. So it's just to make sure that Katarina is going to be next, so this guy's not me. And then GA Akali, just yeah. nice to have. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? You saw the own. You saw the own. Yeah, I I ended up just. I don't I don't know why I sold the Yone there. I definitely should have kept it. I think I ultimately decided I didn't have enough gold and I wanted to just roll it down for cat right then. But why 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 are you rolling? There there was one guy when I was scouting where I was not sure that I was actually strong enough to beat him. Okay. Um, without cat three. Okay, okay, okay. Can you can you lose the game stage six? No. So what does that mean? Yeah, I I should be more greedy. You should be at fifty gold. You cannot lose yeah. the game on stage six. Oh, yeah. you can. Never mind, you can. You can lose the game on stage six. But like, um, rolling this aggressively, you should, you should do that like when you're much lower HP. Yeah, yeah. So my my problem was too greedy when I was in a bad situation and not greedy enough here in the situation to take it yeah. first. And so I find I do hit the cat three though here. Okay. Which I so I was the reason I was rolling really aggressively though was I was worried I was not going to be strong enough to beat. Um, there were two talent players and they were both kind of spooky. Um, so 
So I was worried that without Cat 3, I was going to just lose-lose back-to-back to them. Yeah. But and then you'd still I... be fine. If you lose this yeah. back-to-back, you're still fine. Right. Yeah. Um, that lock there is a little scary. I wouldn't have locked there uh, because you need to do two actions. So just like a tiny, tiny thing, like don't lock. And once the round ends, you either buy or lock. Okay. Because this Got way you, you, need, you need to buy and unlock. Yeah. Right? So it's, yeah. Yeah. And so here, this is just my comp. Like, yeah. I mean, having this, the two star sedge and. But if, if, this, if the sedge was a uh, two star uh, legendary, like Yone or even, oh my God, yeah, you, even. Yeah. Even a set or no, well, Leeson's kind of yeah, but Leeson can kind of work. But like Yone, set Kane, I think it would be better than than the random. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, definitely you want definitely you want a Yone or a or a set or something big, bigger than a Kali. Yeah. Uh, bigger than yep, Sichuani. Yeah, selling that Yone um, was not a good not a good move in hindsight. And. So even yeah you you win loss win loss anyway even though you hit three star cat and now if you lose but like you're at ten gold like you could have been at a lot more gold and you can guarantee hit a two star legendary right so I I start just trying to econ back here to have one last roll to see if I can get a two star legendary. So you you put yourself in a much worse spot than you were. Yeah. Yeah, good. Glad you agree and you realize that. Yep, because it, it would have been so free if I just take that Yone there and hold it. I found a second Yone. I'm one Yone away. I, I didn't need to roll that down there that aggressively. Like, say I don't roll, and then once I lose that first one, I can reevaluate and decide, yeah. can I tank one more loss, or do I need to roll now? I would, I would just like, you can you can lose until carousel, and there's typically after carousel there are spikes, so like that's when you could roll. Yeah. But it's three lives you have for sure. Maybe you don't have yep. the full five, but three lives for sure. This guy is that strong? That's kind of cool. He has only two items on his... On his uh... You definitely want, I think Katarina wants the buff the most, no? I think Katarina needs the Warlord buff the most. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Not after she ulted. Yeah. Doesn't die before the. You mean the Keeper ult or the Keeper buff? Uh, the um, Lock it. Lock it. Oh. But I mean, yeah, she... I just. Yeah. She can't I wanted die. The, um, uh, I didn't want to have a hole in that line. So yeah. here, I'll go back to the. Uh, so, I mean, she, she can't die before she ulties because she's three star, so it's irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. So, I didn't want a hole in this line. I wanted the Talon and the Morgue to jump and be stuck behind my Jin, Sedge, and the Azir. Oh, very here. nice. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. And and then I put Frozen Heart there, and they, they don't go anywhere. They're just stuck, and he loses. Perfect. Okay. So, that was a really good play. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. And so, then Talon finds the Azir unit. Talon gets stuck on Jin Zhao. They're both stuck right That's next to the set. Very good positioning, yeah. So not like the talent can't actually do anything. Yeah, very good. Very good positioning. Yeah. That's positioning bit for sure. Yeah, so too position... bad I had small brain uh, and don't have a Yone in there because that would have been way stronger. So positioning was amazing, but the greediness like So like from both games, even the one where you won and where you lost, it's definitely focused more on slamming items. Yeah. The first yep, game, uh, you were too committed. Like this game, you committed and it worked out. Yeah. But it's like, you should look at this game more as like a high roll outlier rather than like, Absolutely. this is how it's done. Yeah. Oh, no, I 100% agree. This one was a, uh, because hitting nine Warlord alone is a high roll. Um, and, and being able to make it work with Chosen Garen too, like that unit's, yeah. that was just a synergy bot at the end of the game. So. So, I mean, it, it, it's good that it worked out, but it's like, you shouldn't get, what is it called, like confirmation bias or something from it, thinking like, oh, this is how you're supposed to play it. Because oh, yeah, absolutely. from the game before, it's like, I, I committed to sharps, I never hit a chosen sharp, I ignored everything else that was thrown my way, and yeah. I got a seventh. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I, wish I had uh, the full game for this, where I 
go uh, nine Elderwood chosen Ash because I that one you would have been much more proud on because I hold all I basically have perfect Akali items if I hit chosen Akali I have component for RFC blue buff uh, IE yeah and then I also have really good Ash items I think I had an extra glove I had a Negatron for QSS um, I had swords I had bows so and I had six brawler at wolves and so I keep the six brawler in, I sell the chosen, I roll down, and I'm buying everything Elderwood, everything ninja. Um, and I have all four ninja on my bench. I have six Elderwood on my bench, minus Ash. Yeah. And then I end up finding the chosen Ash and then just boot all the ninjas and go that, But easy, that's exactly like, how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. So you might be losing a little bit of econ, bench space, whatever. But it's like having the option to go either route is so much more valuable and just committing. Yeah, yeah. Losing losing the econ and bench space might be the difference between fourth and third or fifth and sixth. But the having the option is oh, the difference. I, I don't think it's first, fourth and third. I think it's it's like first or second or yeah. bottom eight. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure like Hunter, uh, Divine Warwick, or even Hunter Ash was not like going from seventh to sixth. It would have been like a third. Yeah, it would have been a top four. I it would have been a top four. The war, like the yeah, Warwick, actually, yeah, QSS yeah. IE Bramble Warwick, like what killed that guy? Like, no, yeah, I I love Warwick, man. With, On PBE before divine, the set yeah. ever came out, I was I was very into Warwick as a carrier, a secondary carry yeah. unit. So it just it just like uh, no, and not buying those units, and and it, and it's funny because I told you to buy them even before, like I didn't watch the video before. Yeah. I'm like, you should have bought. <laughs> no, that was that was great. Yeah, because it's like I, I know that I, I tunnel vision sometimes as well, but it's like I see all the like all the or not all of them, but like fluffy, I see fluffy doing it, and like some of the top top streamers don't do it, and I see fluffy having more success because he just like he grieves his economy way more, but he has way more options. Yeah. Then, then I like I watched because like for this like uh, my guide and just just for my 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 own leveling and uh, my own uh, grinding and and ranking up. I watch different streamers and I watch different play styles. So like first on EU, Fluffy, he kind of buys more units and holds more units. First on an A, Mismatch Socks, he's extremely greedy. Like he lost streaks, he gets the 40, 50 gold by 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 Krugs. But then I watched, I don't know, like obviously I watched one of his streams. Obviously he's really good. He got he got first, he got extreme LP gains. But the stream I did watch, he he went like a lot of ace and I think he lost like 150 LP that, that stream in particular. And that was because he didn't he didn't hit. And if you lost streak and you don't hit, you're going bottom eight. Yeah, it's an eight. <laughs> if you win streak and your items are shit because you win streak too much, like occasionally I, I, I get really flustered. Like I was one game I was on five one with ninety HP. I, I win streak till then. And then I just bled. I I lost every round and six two I died and I was sixth. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. That that's a little depressing, but like as long as you Bleed out a little bit slower than that, like 90 HP 5 1, you should get a top four. Yeah. Rather than uh, like 30 HP 5 1, and you're like praying, like, okay, do I hit this? Do I two star my, my carry? Do I, get a, do I get a chosen? Oh, I don't. Okay, then I'm definitely guaranteed a bottom, bottom eight. Yeah. So I'm glad you agree with me that win streaking, and like holding units and losing econ over, over being able to win streak, being able to be strong is good. So. Yeah, no, there, there's very rare situations where I would not hold a unit. Like, I think we saw me do it there with the Garens. Uh, that one, that one. I mean, I already had two-star Garen. Yeah. There's another spot, I think, where I'd do it. Uh, you, you know, um, the first one, the first one, you, you sold you sold the oh, yep, yep. Garen. And I'm like, you're selling, like, your second Garen on 3-2. What yeah. if you hit another Garen? What if you are able to two-star the Garen? Like, it would make you quite a bit stronger. And so I think um, this, this is a part of the game that I think would be really interesting to explore. You definitely can, that's a solvable thing. Like that, that's not just like, a, oh, is it the right thing based on feel? Like, well, my board does get stronger. It's a solvable thing because we can look at what difference that does to a board, having two star Garen versus yep. one star Garen there and the probability of hitting it on that stage with just our natural rolls. So it's like, okay, we've got four before the roll down stage that we're going to do. So I've got four chances at 30% to hit a one-star unit. There's this many one-stars in the pool, this many Garen's left. It's, I think so it's 45%, this is the probability. but it's, it's even higher. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So anyway, we can figure out, all right, 8% of the time, I'm going to two-star my Garen here. And when that happens, I'll beat this many percent more boards, which saves me this much HP and gets me this much additional gold. Um, so I, I think that's definitely something where if someone wanted to sit and grind out the actual math behind it, that would be a valuable thing to know, okay, is it actually worth here to grief your econ for that 8 to 12% of the time that you two-star your Garen before this stage? Um, I, I, think I don't most, know. I, I think that's an interesting thing. I'd say most of the time it actually is. I think it depends on where your gold is too, right? Like the higher the higher that your gold is, like if you're above 40 gold, yeah. oh, absolutely, it's worth it to grief it, right? Like difference between yeah. 40 and 50, who cares? I hate if doing you're... it on like sub 10 gold. I hate doing it, but I started- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, so let's say like hypothetically, say we're right before Krugs and I am 17 gold and have a two-star pair and a one-star pair that I could sell- I'm never selling that there, right? Like as long as those units are getting played and like going to be units that'll stay on my board, at least through like stage three, there's never a time where you're selling and going from 17 gold to 20 there to get rid of a two-star pair and a one-star pair, right? Um, okay, so I probably might as well, but the right play is not to. I think the I, right play I, I really is think... to give yourself the econ. Yeah, I really like, if you think about it logically, like what the hell are you achieving? You get more econ, so you can get better units later. So here, let me let me put up a. I'm gonna do a builder, and we'll. Because it's like you want econ so that you can get stronger later, right? It's like why don't you get stronger right away? And sh shout out to Didio because he he coached me uh, after I was like I I messed up a bit and like uh, I'm in. Uh, low challenger, high GM, like bouncing around on, on Iyun because it's like the hardest server. At least a lot of people agree. And he's he's like, uh, let's say, mid to high challenger. And he coached me. He said, like, hold everything. I'm like, what? Why am I holding this? Like, you can't just sell everything to make econ. You need to hold. And I've started holding a lot more, and I've started having a lot more success. So, okay. So if you're – do you see my – the yeah, builder screen that I, I have? See, yeah. Okay. So say that this is our board. We have uh, – Timo pair and a Garen pair on the bench yep. and we're 17 gold. You're saying that you sell both the and it's the correct play to sell both those every time? No, I'm saying I uh, used to and I still might sell the Timo and the Garen, but the correct okay. play is to hold. Okay. I, I think the correct play is to hold there. I agree with that. It it's to hold because like you don't want you're not gonna roll on stage three anyway. Like, right. I'm, no, I'm, exactly. So stage three, if you sell the Timo and the Garen. You're not getting stronger on stage three. Like, yeah, you might put you might put in a jinx or something, or or a random I don't know Jin or, uh, or or a uh, I guess um warlord maybe. But it's like, this is gonna be your board for at least another five six rounds. Yeah. And it's really important that you upgrade your board. And 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 the thing is, the amazing thing is, like, if you upgrade your board of like you're you're starting random board and you have like a bunch of Two star, one cost, two cost, maybe even three cost. That's when you can just go to eight. That's when you can skip the roll down on seven, or at least you can roll down on four two, which is a better interval than four one. Or you roll down on eight on five one, because you're you're strong enough. You're gonna bleed a little. Like you're gonna be strong enough stage three if you hit some some uh, two stars, and then they'll carry over to stage four, <coughs> and that'll let you get to eight. Yeah. So th that's yeah, so that's yeah, why I, I agree. And you just like you grief a little bit of economy, but like one win gets you one gold. So yep. it'll catch up. Like once you once you hit that two star Timo or two star Garen, and it just it it just HP is worth so much more. Or yeah. or or maybe like yes, this is also I mean I'm completely open to the idea. I'm not good enough to utilize my gold well enough. Right, yeah, because because say the difference, the delta in me selling versus me keeping is, let's say, ultimately six gold, right, or seven yeah. gold from all the additional interest that I gain over that course of ramping up to fifty. So, is that six or seven gold difference enough for me to exercise that to change my placement significantly? And so that's one copy of a legendary unit, right? One roll and one copy yeah. of a legendary unit. So. I don't, I don't know. With a difference that small, it, I feel like it's much safer to hold the pairs and then 
you just know that you yep. have a much stronger odds of staying strong longer and yep. not bleeding HP. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, no offense to you or like, but I, I would do the same thing. But like, as we saw from your from your first game, where you ignored uh, the Warwick and the Ash. Yeah. Like having five more gold Did to roll down there. more, <laughs> to roll down more, and maybe maybe find a cho find a chosen kindred. You'd be like, oh, kindred, I don't need her. And like, yes, you'd have more gold to roll with, but it's like if you're ignoring your options anyway. Yeah, like, what, what good is it doing, right? Because, like, yeah, no. If you're the, that amazing player who I'm, I'm not either. If you're that amazing, it's like, oh my god, Warwick, boom! I put the Warwick in, I put the Luxes in, I put the Irelas in, and you have extra gold to roll for a Shen. Then it's like, oh, brilliant. Yeah, but like, then it, then it's probably worth. worth then doing, the gold is worth yeah. it. If if you're like if you are that good of a player, which I I'm not there yet either. But like if you are that good of a player, yes, the five gold helps because you can. Roll down more and make your bolt even stronger with the random Warwick Divine Pivot. But if yeah. neither of us are like smart enough to actually take the unit we're offered, then having <laughs> 10 more HP would have gotten you a 6 instead of a 7. Yep, yeah. While having 10 more gold doesn't do shit because we're not good enough to actually utilize the gold. So, yeah, 10 more gold is just five more times I get to donkey roll at the end of the game as I cry about why I'm going seven. That you that you didn't get your chosen. You got different chosen, yeah. but not the one you wanted. <laughs> so that's that's kind of like I think why my guide holds true for like 99% of, of uh, TFT players. Like no offense to you guys, but like if you're not the best streamers, because that's that's exactly exactly what I did. And uh, someone said it's 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 kind of doable. Like you can do it in lower elo. Like in, in Diamond, for example, or like, like Mid-Diamond or Platinum or whatever, like you can greet to 50 and then you kind of roll and then you try to hit whatever you want. Because the, the, the lobbies are not as oppressive, they're not as powerful. But other people will pick up that Warwick, other people will pick up that Ash, and they will be strong. Yeah. So like, if, you, if you're greeting it out, econing to 50, because I used to sit on 50 gold for most of the game. And then I'm like, how am I dying? Where, where's my chosen whatever? Where's my chosen Jin? I had 100 gold and I didn't hit Chosen Jin. No shit, you're not going to get Chosen Jin. You're not going to get Chosen Sharpshooter even rolling 100 gold. So like having more gold if you're, if you're tunnel visioning doesn't do anything. So yeah. more gold is only good if you're extremely flexible, I think. I think that's, that's like the, the final result. Like, and yeah, that's no, why that, more, that HP, more HP is really good. Even like if you're flexible, okay, maybe you don't pivot as quickly as you should. So more HP... Gives you a cushion, and if you're inflexible, well, more HP just makes sure that like you bleed out slower while you're dunking rolling for something you shouldn't be dunking rolling for in the first place. So yeah, it gives you one extra life at the end of the game to eke out an additional placement. Yeah. So all in all, like to the guys asking me on Reddit and flaming me that top players econ more than than hold pairs, please hold your pairs. It when you hit and you get a little bit stronger and you actually don't lose on stage three. You'll thank me. <laughs> <laughs> so, any anything else to finish out the video? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I'll, uh, I'll make sure I save some good, uh, good vods in the future. See if I can can find some good other examples for you. Yeah, perfect. So, thanks for stopping by, Kyle. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Take care. You too.